How's it going guys? LD Moto back with you. Um, today I'm going to start tearing down the KTM big board. I want to find out size what pistons in here, see if I can get new rings for it, and go over it to see, you know, just kind of learn about it. See if I can get, I mean it should be a fairly common piston size. I mean I'm no expert but I'm hoping. Hopefully it's still used. And, but I, hopefully the reeds are still good. Uh, I'll get into that and check that out. I'm probably going to remove this because I don't want nothing to happen to it. Because this is a hard piece to get. The, the stator coil, whatever you want to call it. But I have some measurement tools. I'm going to get into this. And yeah, let's learn a little bit more about the... I'm sure I'm not going to pronounce this correctly. I believe it's Italian. More... Yeah. Anyways, I don't know. I'm gonna get into this. I'm gonna start tearing it apart. Um, I'm not gonna time lapse everything. I'm just gonna kind of go with it. But if it's a long drawn out uh, process of uh, taking something off of it or something, obviously I'll work with that. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Stick around and let's let's learn a little bit about the KTM Big Boy. No effort at all there. <laughs> they expected, I guess. It's gonna suck if I can't find ga uh, gaskets, but you know, figure it out. There's probably something I can do. Get some Honda bomb or something. <laughs> I don't know, I'll figure it out. Oh, that, <laughs> that one wasn't even tight. Awesome. What if that had anything to do with? Anything because those were not tight at all. I wonder if I was losing compression just from not having the head properly tightened. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. That thing is tiny. Wow. Dang guys. There's a wash right there. Uh I have a feeling. I know why we were having so much issue when we were losing compression. Because obviously, you see, there's no gasket. Oh, there's the gasket. It looks like they might have put something. Okay, it's on there. All right. I was kind of looking at it for a second. Looks like it was sealed pretty good. I mean, I don't know. All right, so yeah. That piston is small. Well, a little crispy. The walls do not look bad. I mean, they don't look perfect. Let me get you guys in here and show you. Let's see if I can get the lighting on it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look the best, but it doesn't look the worst. I mean, you guys let me know. Like, I haven't seen one in a while. Doesn't look horrible though. It's much. Oh yeah, that was. I was gonna say the Earth Dog. I was working on it. It was a much bigger piston, but obviously I was going from a 50 to a 70 cc. And yeah, that's another story. We'll get into that some other day. All right, we got that off. Let's continue on. Let's see where else we can get on here. Um. The rest of this wants to come off. Probably not. Oh yeah, I can't turn that over. Hmm. There's a few little... Oh, yeah, actually, it actually doesn't really look bad at all. Honestly. I don't even know if it's in there. What if it's reeds? It's in the dirt, it's in my... Yeah, it's in my... There is definitely a bunch of gunk. It's coming off really easy on the top of the piston, but... 
I wonder if that was the dirt that it was sucking in. Uh, looks like it's glued on there somehow. Let's see if I can get it off there without breaking anything. There she goes. So that took a minute. So I did, yeah. The gasket on top was snagging up on here and it was a little stuck, so. These rings don't, I mean, Nothing looks like it's gotten hot in here. So I'm going to try and measure, I guess, what these are, what size these are. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I'm going to try it. But if you guys know any different, please leave a comment. I never went to school for this stuff, but. My father, when I was young, I used to work on small engines all the time. I'm trying to do that. Back gasket? Mm -hmm. I'm going to use some. Looks like Honda Bond on there, some gasket maker. But let's see what I can do. Let's see if I can get some measurements out of there. Man, that thing is rusty. Um, let's see, millimeters, let's zero that out. Right. I guess we can start by measuring a diameter. Let's try that. Okay, so 38.44 millimeters across. I don't know if that's important. Maybe it is. I don't know. Well, let's try something else. Let's see. I'll show you guys one thing. Six point three four millimeters. I don't know if that makes any good sense. Let's see the measurement for the piston. Means anything? 43.85. So, is it a big bore or just a big fin, big air cooled 50, which obviously is just air cooled 50. But. All right, so I'm gonna do a little research. I'm gonna continue this video here in just a little bit once I get a better idea of what's going on here. All right, so. Here's the situation, I believe. This ring is definitely bad. It's mangled up and it's very kind of chewed up looking. I don't know if I can really express that on here to you, but that gap is insane. So I guarantee, I know you're supposed to gap them, but it is insanely kind of loose. I mean, look how easy, it went on really easy. Even when at full, I mean, it just seems way too much. I know when they heat up, they expand a little bit. So that's why you have to gap. But 
that is ridiculous and it's got some nicks and it looks like it's been catching up on the edge of something like it I don't think it's been staying where it's supposed to I I'm not exactly 100% sure but this thing is incorrect but anyways I measured the other big bore head that I got for the yurf dog I might have mentioned that earlier and it the bore was 51.79 millimeters I don't know so obviously it's bigger than that and that was supposed to be a 70 cc so yeah uh, I believe that was just a 50 a big fin 50 cool but anyways guys I'm gonna look for some more parts on it for this see if I can find some uh, uh, rings for it but uh, if I can I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed we have a plan for this it I think it's gonna be pretty cool and it's gonna be for uh, my middle son he really enjoys four wheels so uh, might give you a little hint but thank you guys for watching all right guys the KTM motor I did a little more research it's a standard standard uh, cylinder size piston all that stuff but I did find out it is an aftermarket piston it's a Wisco I looked up the part number and everything leads to manufacturer and everything came back to Wisco as far as I know so it's not a big bore it's just a big finned air-cooled uh, 50 cc motor so yeah that's cool uh, so that means I should be able to find new rings and everything for it I already looked up a bunch of stuff they're not bad price so I would like to get this motor kind of rebuilt because I still have good electronics try and clean it up real nice and uh, get some gaskets for it hopefully or kind of reuse what I have for the most part hopefully I can do that and we can find a sweet little quad for Leland because power wheels mini grave digger he's having a blast on that thing but it he needs suspension and I want him to be able to rip on it and he's having a blast so I love putting smiles on my kids faces but thank you guys for watching LD motor performance and let's get this little 50 running again. We'll see you guys next time.